Hey everybody, welcome back to our aquaponics videos. This one today is uh, just a follow up on kale and today we're going to do a preparation of this beautiful kale that we got out of the garden and later on I'll post a different video about the update on what I've done with the um, actual garden since my last posting. But I'm going to show you a little bit about how to handle when you have a lot of kale and you want to do something with it. Um, and so I'll get started right away. These have already been rinsed and sprayed down and they're ready to be um, kind of taken apart and put into the saute. Alright, step two. I just took all the stems off of the kale plants. I like to have mine with a little bit less roughage there. Uh, and you can see the water that it was in. Now I sprayed all these down to clean off all the bugs and uh, it looks like there's not much left in there. Now you can leave any bugs that are on the kale right on there they'll add a little sweetness to your um, mix in the end uh, just a little joke there anyway let's go up and start cooking alright we're back first I'm going to mix up a little sauce for this and that is for the second half of the cooking so I've got a little salt and pepper down there probably a teaspoon each maybe not quite and we're going to use some uh, from right to left here we're going to use some sesame oil it'll show you garlic ginger and sriracha now I like to use the garlic and ginger like this, it's dried and so it probably should sit inside of uh, that little soup that I make for about maybe 15 minutes or so. So we'll come back when that's all ready to go and I'm also going to add some green onion chopped up from the garden into that bowl and I'll, I'll show that right in just a minute. Alright so our little marinade here, uh, I have added about 8 pieces of green onion that have been chopped up just about three quarters of an inch to half an inch to an inch long. You don't have to chop them too small. And it wilts all down into the bottom there. So total we're looking at not even a quarter cup of seasoning here. You could add a little bit more. If I had some peanut butter, uh, we ran out of peanut butter today, but I'd put maybe a tablespoon of peanut butter in there. That kind of gives it a little peanut flavor as well. All right, back to the cooking. Okay, I've added about half a cup of water in my pan, and now we're gonna just blanch down our greens and throw them in there. Oh, that's lovely. Just pile the whole thing in there. Don't worry about it. Just pile it in. If you've never done this before, um, you know, it looks like you got too much stuff in the pan. It'll all cook down in just a second. Okay, well, this is probably going to take about maybe three or four minutes, so I'm going to um, stop and we'll come back when it's already done. All right, as you can see, it's already cooked down about half, so I'm about halfway. This is only a couple minutes in. Just wanted to point out that I started the stove on almost high, and now I'm down at around medium. So we don't want to stir fry this stuff. We want to just um, blanch it. So we got to keep liquid at the bottom, and we don't want that to evaporate off. We want to cook this fairly quickly, but another couple minutes and we should be done. Okay, so this looks like it's just about done. It's not cooked until totally wilted, it's just kind of uh, blanched out. And um, I know this sounds kind of disgusting, but this is also a good time for you to look for, since you're getting this from your garden, any um, caterpillars that may have been on a leaf. Now, I washed this uh, kale really, really well, and I still found one, and that's the way it is. That's, that's organic farming for you. So um, in this phase, though, you'll see them because they'll turn yellow, and you'll be able to I'll pick them right up. Okay. Now we're going to put in the next uh, part, which is to dump in our seasoning and um, kind of stir it around. Okay, I've added in my mix. Uh, probably put in, well, I'll put all the ingredients um, listed in the video. And uh, here's why it's hard to see. You know, if you're trying to look for a caterpillar, you see that one right down there? It's hard to see that that's a caterpillar with all that garlic and stuff. I'm just kidding. That's not a caterpillar. That is a piece of ginger. But anyway, you can see how hard it is to spot any little varmints that might be in there once you've added in all of your seasoning. So you can see it's just bubbling a little bit at the bottom. I'm going to just saute this for another 30 seconds or so and then we take it off the heat. All right, here's our finished product. So you can see that all of this cooked down into just a small dish um, and we're talking about maybe two cups, maybe two cups worth of uh, kale here. Now you can eat it hot uh, just right off of the, the griddle like this or I like to put mine in the refrigerator for an overnight and then eat it cold the next day So that's my style Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, just a short video showing how to take care of a whole lot of kale uh, When you have a bunch of it coming in your garden Hope you enjoyed that 